Hello, hello, namaste my friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about something that's pretty important and that's discernment. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So why is discernment important? Well, because there is no truth in our world, in our universe. And I'll just let that sink in for a second. There is no truth. There's my my story, your story, and there's the universe's story, right? So what I mean by this is that when you're watching any kind of information, any kind of knowledge, any kind of research, basically just anything that anybody ever says to you, you need to discern for yourself if this is true to you or not. Does this resonate or does it not resonate? right and this is so important because for example when people are watching the news certain things on the news are not always a hundred percent factual ah what no yes the news is not a hundred percent factual so what you need to do while you're watching the news is you gotta watch and be like hey what the hell what it like question everything right so if they're like oh all this tragedy is happening all this stuff blah, blah, blah. if all you ever see on the news is like tragedy and heartbreak and blah 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 question that why is this all we see when there's so much good going on in the world right that's interesting another thing you got to ask yourself is with doctors and scientists for example we got modern science for sure that's out here validating things left and right but guess what? The science is being put out there and being studied and researched and, you know, looked at by scientists. And guess what? These scientists are human beings like you and me. And guess what? Not one of those, not one of those scientists has experienced the same thing as the next scientist in their life, right? So that's why you will literally, you know, I do a lot of research, but I always check my sources. Where are they coming from? Are they coming from laboratories or are they coming from facilities? Are they coming from random people in their living room writing articles about their own opinion? Has there been trials? Has there been, uh, you know, tribulations? Has there been, you know, stuff to kind of back up certain theories? And then I'll take a look at everything. I'll take a look at the side that I'm aiming for. I'll take a look at the opposing side even and all their research because I wanna know the ins and outs. 3D, this life, Earth right now, is about polarity, about duality. We know and we're learning that without the dark, we can't have the light. Without the light, we can't have the dark, right? Take a look at what happens outside when you walk around in the sunshine. What happens? You're, you got the sun beating on you, right? But look down. What's your shadow doing? Right? Just think about that for a second. What's your shadow doing? It's following you around. So my point is, you need to discern for yourself anything in this life. I don't care if it's spiritual teachers telling you that you need to stop eating meat um, in order to be spiritual, right? We are, cut it out. Like we're all spiritual beings living human experiences. Every single person upon planet earth right now is a spiritual person. Whether they practice spirituality or have spiritual practices or religious practices or whatever, doesn't matter. We're all eternal souls in this flesh bag, essentially trying to live out what we wanted to live out, what we want to live out. We got free will, right? We made some kind of plans, some kind of contracts and stuff, but this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're all here on earth. Quit trying to just, you know, ascend right here, right now. Oh, I want to go to 5D. Oh, I want to go to 7D. Oh, I just want to ascend to heaven. Like what? I don't know. Whatever spiritual people's goals are. Quit trying to do that. Quit trying to bypass the third dimension and all the stuff that we have to learn here. All the stuff that we can gather and gain from Earth and 3D and all the fun stuff that comes along with Earth and the free, uh, 3D. 3D, right? So... Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Just earn for yourself.
Don't let not one person tell you what to think or what not to think because every single person on this planet is completely different. We all have completely different frequencies. You know, you may have a similar frequency um, or DNA. Uh, our frequency is very much correlating with our DNA, right? But not only that, but we bring a couple things to the table. We bring our etheric soul and all of its baggage to the table, which is popping and awesome, right? And then we bring all the baggage of, um, you know, the 3D and all of our earth stuff and all of our past lives and all the stuff, like the physical stuff. And it, pff, we mix it together and look, look what we get. Here we are. <laughs> right so we got to balance both we got to navigate both right but how do you navigate you discern for yourself you ask questions right if there's religions that ask you not to love other human beings unconditionally and that tell you exactly what you need to do for god to enlighten you or for you to get into heaven in my opinion that's wild because you deserve to be in heaven you no matter how many mistakes you make, right? You deserve eternal resting, happiness, bliss, like, you know, whatever the fuck comes along with heaven. I don't know, man, I'm not there. I just have a inner knowing and an inner sense that there is something like heaven out there and there's something like God or whatever out here, right? But I don't feel like it fits into the normal confines of what people consider like, you know, religion or God or whatever, how is God going to say that people that are like gay, for example, or, you know, like the same sex, how is God going to call them abominations? How is God going to, you know, feel some type of way about his own creations? So you're telling me God created gayness and then now he won't let those people into heaven just because they have unconditional love and they want to love who they want to love let's think back to like the slave days i hate to be horrible but let's think back to slaves right there was a time and a place which is mind-blowing that they told specific races that they could not be together they could not love who they wanted to love in their heart and they were wrong for that and they were bad for that and they're going to hell for that and all that stuff. That's wrong, bro. Love is the highest frequency, bro. Heaven, I don't care what anybody says. Heaven is the love frequency. Heaven is the unconditional love frequency. It's its most love frequency as you are ever going to get in heaven with God, right? So you, nobody can tell me, there were certain things about religion that people tried to tell me and I'm like, you literally can't tell me that. Like, I don't believe in that religion then because that's bullshit, right? I love unconditionally. So if somebody told me you can't love unconditionally, that's bullshit, that's not God. That's people trying to control you. That's people taking advantage of the idea of God to manipulate you into what they want you to do. It's a control thing. Sorry, but religions are a control mechanism. Religions were created by God. Spirituality, whatever that means for you, was created by God. So it, it's just, you guys, discern for yourself. I cannot stress the importance of that. I'm going to end this video because it's getting a little bit longer than I thought, but I hope you all have an amazing day and I hope this helped you in some kind of way. If it did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and subscribe and like and all the stuff so other people can benefit from this too. And uh, it's like a mutual exchange. It's like an energy exchange, right? I give you knowledge and information or just something to think about, right? Like it, I don't, I personally feel like if you are watching my channel, this is every single thing that I say is going to be something that you already know within your soul. You already know all this stuff. You're very intelligent. You're like a superhuman. I promise you, we're all like superheroes. We're all multidimensional. We're all incredible ass humans. And you already know all the stuff that I'm talking about in your heart. You just need somebody to remind you. And that is why you are here, especially if you are still listening right now. If you're subscribed to my channel, if you mess with my content, then you know you know, all right? 
what's understood does not gotta be explained, people. Namaste.